And so let's say a community member were to come up to you and say, Kyle, you've worked at some great companies. You're an expert on model serving. How should I, you know, my company wants to figure out a strategy for this. You know, they told me I need to figure out what our model serving platform looks like. What are some of the things I should watch out for? And what are some of the tools you'd suggest? Anything that you would offer as advice? Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, basically free consulting. That's what we're about. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely depend a lot on the company. Um, you know, like my first inclination would be like, you know, if depending on the resources you have, just evaluate a lot of, you know, the vendors out there. Um, there's a lot of like really, really great tools um, coming out of a lot of different companies. I feel like a, so many different enterprise offerings just to have model serving, but it's also built as part of a larger experiential platform. Um, or there's even things that are more hands-off, for instance, like Selvin, I believe, um, just like an open source framework for deploying models in Kubernetes also offers like Selvin Deploy, which is, I think, their enterprise tool, which is more UI driven, but a nice way to like deploy and manage your models. I would say that like the technical aspect of serving um, is going to be easy, right? Like you have something like TensorFlow serving, you just train a TensorFlow model, get the Docker image, bam, you have an endpoint. But managing that and actually like getting to that governance level of how do you manage if you have 50 models, how do you keep track of those and how do you um, manage those endpoints, make sure you're not wasting resources, being cost effective, um, maybe like role based access controls, all of that stuff is like the real stuff that you have to watch out for in that space, because otherwise you just get this explosion of tech debt uh, that is totally unmanageable. Yeah.